Hey guys, hope you're all doing well today. Um, in this video, I'm taking you through this biro pen drawing of Maya Drama. Some of you may know her, some may not. She's a British TV and radio presenter. I'm just drawing her because she is undeniably really beautiful and when I saw this particular image of hers I just had the urge to draw or paint it and hopefully when it's completed you'll understand why. So as you can see what I've done so far is draw out the face shape outline gradually as well as drawing out some of the facial features. Since I'm using pen, I can't exactly rub out any mistakes, so I'm really taking my time and very lightly pressing the pen to the page so that it's easier to fix or cover up any mistakes I make, which will most likely be at least a few. I'm also focusing on outlines just to get a good sense of the positioning of everything on the page, and because the outlines tend to be the darkest part of the face, so those are also easier to fix later if I make any mistakes right now. It definitely is much harder to draw, especially faces in pen, so if you're not that confident with drawing accurately from observation, I would definitely suggest starting off with pencil so you can erase your mistakes rather than throw away the whole drawing, which sometimes does happen when you draw with pen, because um, you know it only takes one really bad mistake that is super obvious to ruin the entire drawing. To be honest with you guys, I'm not sure Biro Pen is the best choice of medium to recreate this image of her. Biro is a bit rough in texture and she has a very soft complexion. In fact, you guys let me know in the comments below um, like how you would have created this. Would you have painted it? And if you would paint it, would you use watercolour? Would you use acrylic? Which medium would you guys use and how would you go about it? Um, I mostly just used Biro because I was in the mood to draw rather than paint and somehow I couldn't find a single rubber anywhere in my giant messy pile of art things so I just went with pen. But Biro is more of a challenge anyway so more interesting to practice especially when it comes to drawing faces as that's already quite difficult even with pencils so if you really want to push yourselves then give this a go and draw along with me and if you do I'd love to see how your versions come out so do share them with me please you can either email them to me at norarazstudio at gmail.com or send it via direct message to my Instagram at norarazstudio follow me on there too while you're at it I'll put them in the description box under this video to make things easier. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you're enjoying it and subscribe to the channel for more similar videos that will be coming out very, very soon. So I've added a bit more detail here and there, like to the lips especially, and a bit of shading as you guys can see, but I've still mostly just done some rough outlines and now Moving on to the hair, which is probably the most fun part to do in pen in my personal opinion because you can be a bit more careless and free with it since hair is a bit messy anyway so it's less important to get every line exactly perfect and more so just to capture the free flowing light vibe of the hair movement, you know. And even here I've just done a rough outline to start and then gone on to outline the rest of the main parts of the image like her arm and her top and shading in a few bits here and there. I'm a bit chaotic with the way I draw in case you guys haven't noticed by now. I frequently just jump between different parts of the page and add more detail here and there rather than completely finishing one part and moving on to the next. But that's just the way that I'm used to working on things, so if you guys approach this drawing with a bit more structure and logic, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And if anything, I'd be even more curious to see your outcome and process if that's how you work.
just adding some more shading to the rest of the face just to make it feel a bit more complete before I go back to the other parts of the drawing. I'm sharpening some of my outlines here, not sure if you guys can tell, but the outline of the face shape I initially did was very rough and that's mainly because I was trying to get the proportions right, so I almost changed my mind a bit and that's why the face shape outline looks kind of thick right now and there's lots of little rough lines around it, but because I drew it quite faintly it won't ruin the drawing because um, later on I can just pass it off as shadows with the more detail that I add which will make more sense and become more obvious as the drawing is more completed but that's why I started the drawing with very faint lines and I can't stress enough how important that is it can really save your drawing in case you don't get everything perfect on the first attempt which will be the case like 9 out of 10 times. Now that I'm shading in the face more and adding a bit more detail and shadowing, you can really see it starting to come to life a little bit and you can actually sort of recognize that it does look like Maya drama or hopefully you guys think so. I mean, I can see it, but I can also see which parts have, are a little bit off and that's fine. It almost never comes out perfect and it takes a lot of practice and I am a bit rusty as it's been a few years since I've drawn, especially people <laughs> with pen. Now is where I'm starting to sharpen the line outline of the face which I initially did a lot more roughly. Um, and now you guys will start to see as I shade in the neck a bit more, the neck areas, and um, add a bit of a bit more detail to the rest of the body and shade in the backdrop a little bit, then it becomes a lot less noticeable that I've, you know, done a bit of a <laughs> rough thing around the the edge of the face. Just adding some shadowing to the eyelids. Bit on the nose, bit on the lips, just making a few bits darker here and there. I've left some bits quite bright with this piece as well, because as I said, she does have quite a soft complexion and I don't really want to fill the whole face and page in with rough lines that will make her complexion look a bit more rough. Although I have used cross hatching, which is quite a rough drawing technique, but I did want this to be slightly on the rough side, but not too much. Now I'm starting to move back to the hair and just define the outlines a little bit more and start working on the actual strands a bit more. now you see what I mean with some of these loose and free-flowing hairs. I mean, it's hard to not focus so much on making it perfect, but it's a good thing to remember that it's not as important as you think and wouldn't be as noticeable. It's definitely more important to get those free-flowing lines. And now I'm doing the earrings because I almost forgot those. Adding some detail to the ear as well. You can really see that it's starting to come to life a bit and almost pop out of the page a little now, which is 
really good and uh, I think that's why I like to go back and work on lots of bits in the process because I, I like my drawing to look good as I go along because the worst thing ever is when you spend ages on one part of the drawing and you get it so perfect and then you go on to do the rest of the drawing and you realize your proportions are all wrong or a major mistake happens and then the whole thing has to be scrapped so I feel like although this way that I work is a bit more chaotic it's also the best way in my opinion to make sure that the drawing is looking good and how you want it the whole way through. That said though, sometimes those big mistakes that mean everything has to be thrown away are inevitable and it's a part of the practice that goes into refining your artistic abilities. So it's absolutely fine if that happens. Try not to feel too disheartened by it. It's all it, it's not a waste of time, you know, it's just part of the process and you'll get there. So a good chunk of the hair seems to be done now. I'm just doing a few of those little details, those loose strands all around the edges. Finishing off the rest. The hair obviously has the most build up of thicker, darker lines. Much more pressure here. You really see how dark the pen actually is because of how much harder I'm pressing, but you really want to keep in mind where the light's hitting on the page and which parts of the strand which parts of the hair strands and folds are being hit by the light and make sure to do those more gently and lightly you don't want to fill in the whole hair in the exact same color you want to show that definition and the shadowing and the shading Now I'm shading in the arm a little bit, a bit more cross-hatching style. And working on the top, getting in some of those outlines at first. Said I'm keeping this drawing quite rough so I'm not going to add too much detail to the clothing or too much shading to the skin area just keeping it light and minimal whilst also maintaining the detail and giving it a realistic lifelike effect as much as possible Um, I do feel that 
I've done a bit too much shading around the chest area. It doesn't need to be that dark. It's not that dark in the image. Um, I think I just didn't pay proper attention before I worked on that bit. So that's something I would say to bear in mind before you build up depth somewhere. Make sure that it actually requires that much depth. completely forgot about the necklace so just adding that in roughly So this is my finished outcome. All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, just a few bits that I'd pay more attention to if I were to do it again. But aside from that, I think it's turned out really well. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Do you like it or not? What would you have done differently? And don't forget to share your versions. I hope you guys found this useful. Stay tuned so you don't miss out on future videos where I'll be taking you through a lot more of my drawing and painting processes. Also, make sure you like, subscribe and share this video with whoever you think would enjoy it. Bye!